Our top talker is a former undercover detective who worked at the ATF, DEA, FBI, and U.S. Secret Service. <laughs> Not bad. He also won Big Brother. <laughs> He used his skills to become the winner of Big Brother season 16. Now he is back to work, this time on the new show, Breaking Homicide, where each episode tries to solve cold cases. Please welcome Derek Lavasser. All right, Derek, everybody is talking about this nationwide manhunt for a fugitive grandmother who police say may kill again. They're saying she's already murdered two people. Police say 56-year-old Lois Reese allegedly killed her husband in Minnesota last month. Then they say she drove to Florida and murdered a woman who looked just like her so that she could steal her identity. I want to show everyone at home how CBS Evening News covered the story. Police say this surveillance video shows a cunning killer on the prowl. 56-year-old grandmother Lois Reese targeting 59-year-old Pamela Hutchinson in a Fort Myers bar. The two women looked alike, a fatal coincidence for Hutchinson. She was later found shot to death in her condo. Detectives say Reese murdered her, then stole her white Acura, credit cards, and her identity. Lee County Under Sheriff Carmine Marceno. A suspect Reese, although she may look like anyone's mother or grandmother, she's an absolute cold-blooded murderer. Reese is also suspected in her husband's shooting death in Minnesota in late March. As her resources uh, go away, that she will become more desperate and, God forbid, may strike again. All right, Derek, bring us up to speed. What do authorities know about her latest whereabouts, and what do you think her next move is? Well, as an investigator, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So we know that she has uh, frequented a lot of casinos. They've even referred to her as the gambling granny. Mm -hmm. So authorities, it's true. So the authorities will be locking down those areas. They'll be also following her path, where she's traveled. So we know she started in Minnesota. She then went to Florida, and now she's in Corpus Christi, Texas, allegedly. She could be trying to cross the border to Mexico, so they'll lock down that area. Mm -hmm. But also what they're going to do is cut off her resources. Any known associates, credit cards, cash, anywhere she could go, they're going to attempt to box her in and apprehend her as fast as possible. As far as people in those areas, you have to be cognizant. We're in a society where if you see something, you need to say something. Mm -hmm. You could be the reason that she's ultimately found, and that's what we need to hope for. She's already proven that she's armed, she's dangerous, and she's desperate. We need to get off the street as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. That's simple. So if she's out there and she watches the news and she sees that, you know, people are, know her identity now, is she going to try and look different now, dye her hair, cut her hair? It doesn't sound like she's going to try to find someone who looks like mm -hmm. her again. I mean, what are the odds of that? Right. Take that identity. Yeah, she's been dyeing her hair a lot, changing her look. Oh. Yeah. oh, so her real oh. hair color is not that silk? Oh, well, looks like. We, well, why y'all couldn't do a stakeout? If y'all know she at the casino, right? right? Get her right around the penny slot machine. <laughs> That's where the old people... Right. You play a dollar all day long. So if you stake out where old people go, like the park and doing Tai Chi, you should be able to catch her. I'm, leave, I'm right. leaving here. I'm leaving here and going there right now. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Get her at the buffet. Sit there all day. That's right. There. Derek Lavasser, thank you so much. Thank you, Breaking Homicide airs Sunday nights at 10 on Investigation Discovery.